my friend Guy to introduce me. Adelaide partners with successful business people to author, co-author, and edit books and e-books. You may know that Pat co-authored A Life Less Anxious with fellow e tier Steve Havalanos. She has co-authored e-books with several other e tiers as well, including Keela Parkinson, Ed Erickson, and Jan De Wipper. Her books are available on Amazon.com. Please imagine yourself as a group of avid readers who are excited and curious to hear Pat's read a story from her latest book, Hey Bartender. For this reading, she is Johnny Catania, the personality plus bartender at the most popular fine dining restaurant in Key Biscayne, Florida in the 1990s. The story is The Surprise of My Life. Please welcome Pat Lee. Business was slow that day. A couple regulars sat lounging at the bar, and a few elderly people were picking at their early dinners in the main dining room. I was checking bar stock, part of my routine before my official shift, and had one ear listening to the early evening news. I'd just come off the tennis court with a win after a close game, and I was feeling Suddenly, the front doors burst open, and crashing through the entrance came five policemen. They wore camouflage-colored riot gear. They were holding shotguns and automatic rifles. A guy in civilian clothes ran in just after them. I was surprised and angry. What in God's name are you people doing? You're scaring everyone to death. I ran out from behind the bar. The guy who seemed to be the leader strode up to me with a scowl on his face. John, a regular customer and an attorney, was sitting at the bar. He quietly suggested I ask if the guy had a search warrant. I did. No response. He demanded to know if Linda, the owner, was on the premises. I said, no. He asked to see the head waiter. He wasn't in either. I told him that. Well, who is in charge here? The guy barked. I guess I am, I said. Now that they'd had their effect, he told the SWAT team to wait outside. Then he drew his badge out and showed it to me. I read that he was a federal agent. After that, he pulled out a paper and showed me that he did have a search warrant. My fear level went up several times. Whatever was going on, it was clearly serious. I told him I'd cooperate, and he quickly asked for the keys to the house, meaning every key the restaurant had. I took them out of my pocket and immediately handed them over. In minutes, a, a few new pl plainclothes men had entered the office and were briskly hauling books, files, and computers out to the van. Everyone in the restaurant felt invaded. Early on, the senior agent turned to our restaurant guest and apologized. He suggested they go ahead and finish their meals. They stayed in their seats and did as they were told. Although they seemed shocked and scared at first, I'm sure it was mighty entertaining. If you were a disinterested party, that is. I decided not to present them with bills. Wasn't that the least we could do? It crossed my mind that maybe someone was going to yell, Cut! And we were going to find out Linda Bees had secretly been chosen as a movie site. But no, the strangeness continued. A couple hours were spent in buzzing activity with the local news crews reporting next to me at the bar. We tried to remain calm as we watched ourselves on TV. It got very weird. Thank God I knew I hadn't done anything wrong. This is our book. It's called Hey Bartender. That's just one of the interesting stories in here. It's available on Amazon.com. Thank you. Jason. 
Jason is up next. He's going to give a, can you call it a reading? Yes, interpretive reading. Interpretive reading called